Okay, good morning class. Alright, uh, so today uh, we will go to the next uh, subtopic, okay, in chapter 5, okay, with, uh, so there is a reflection of wave, okay. So, uh, I will stop 9.30. So, 9.30, uh, I will choose, okay, uh, randomly, okay. So, who will present for today? Alright, so I hope uh, all of you already uh, ready for your PowerPoint, okay. Uh, and then uh, your mic is working, okay. And uh, your video also uh, can play, okay, to show me that actually your project is uh, working, okay. Uh, so I think uh, one more student is not here, right? So can the monitor check for me? Who is it? So on 5.2, okay, so 5.2 where we learn about damping and also resonance, okay. So damping is when the amplitude, right, amplitude of the uh, wave decreasing, okay, then after that it will eventually stop, okay, so because of the air friction and you already see the graph, okay, so in the damping oscillation, the frequency, okay, is constant or the period is constant. Okay, so how about the resonance? So the resonance means if the uh, if the, the maximum, right, the amplitude is same, uh, B and C, okay, the uh, the length of the track or the length of the rope, okay, is same between B and C. So let's say if I, if I oscillate B, okay, so C also will oscillate with the same amplitude, with the maximum amplitude because it's reached the natural free frequency so it will vibrate with the maximum amplitude okay uh, so that is the free uh that is the resonance okay so next we will learn about the phenomenon in wave okay actually there are four phenomena so the first one is reflection okay reflection okay and this one we learn today and then after this we will learn about refraction of wave Okay, and then the third one is the diffraction of wave. And the last one is the interference of wave. So, this is there is a four phenomenon in wave. So, let's see the first one. Okay, so. All right. So the moon will be reflect back okay, by the water. Okay, so echo is actually also one example of the reflection of wave. So let's say if you go to the mountain okay, and then you scream your name. So after you scream your name, you will hear your name again. Okay, after some time, you will, you, will, you will hear again your name, right? So that is called a echo. So echo is caused by the reflection of wave. Okay. Right, so the next one, it says observe diagram below. What will happen to a seawater wave as it hits the stone? Okay, so the seawater wave will be reflected. Okay, it will be reflected back. So, reflection of wave occurs, okay, when an incident wave strikes a hard surface, okay, and reflected. So, the surface acts as a reflector. Okay, so this is also called as the reflection of wave. Okay, so let's see, right? It says here, explain how the dark and the light fringe are formed on the screen. Okay, so this is the crest, this is the throat, this is actually the water wave, okay? This is actually the water wave. 
So there is a dark fringe, okay, produce the bright fringe for produce a dark, bright, a dark and bright. So how does this uh, can be produced? Okay, so this is the crest part. So the crest part is look like a convex lens. So the convex lens, it converge, okay, it converge all the light rays, okay, to one point, okay. So that we call it, uh, that will form the bright fringe. Okay, so this is the a thing that is a convex lens. So convex lens is the convex, uh, it will converge, okay, it will converge all the light ray into one point, all right? So that's why you will see this one produce the bright fringe, okay? Why the uh, throw here, okay, it will it is a look like a concave lens. So the concave lens, it diverge the light. So when it diverge the light, okay, that will produce the dark fringes. Okay, and again, this is look like a concave, uh, sorry, convex lens. So convex lens converge all the lights, okay, into one point. So it will produce the bright fringe there, okay. So this is uh, why you look, okay, when the, at the water wick, there are light, uh, there are bright fringes, dark fringes, bright fringes, dark fringes, okay. So that is caused by the uh, light be converge or being diverge, right. So you know at the bright uh, at the bright fringes there is a there are, is there is the part of crest okay but they say dark fringes that one is actually for throw okay so later in the ripple tank you will see that are produced the bright and dark fringes so this is caused by the uh, light being converged or being diverged okay and it's because of the shape of the uh, the shape of the crest and the shape of the throw so like this is crest right so it's look like the convex lens like this. So this is a convex lens. But this one looks like the concave lens. Okay. It looks like a concave lens like that. Okay. So this is the concave lens. Okay. So you can see convex lens, it converge all the light rays to one point. So it will produce bright fringes. While the throw, it will diverge all the light rays and it produce the dark fringes. Okay, so the shape of the crest at as convex lens. Okay, so the crest converge the light rays, okay, to form the bright line. All right, and then the shape of the throw acts as a concave lens. So the throw diverge the light rays to form the dark line. Okay, so this why that's why you can see there is a bright and dark fringes also in the ripple tank. So later when I uh when I uh, when I show you a video, okay, of reflection, we will see there's a bright and dark fringes. Okay, next you have to state the law of reflection. Okay, before I forgot, uh, can you go to the class, uh, to the class point? Okay. The one that I give you the website, oh, yeah, I give you again the website. Plus point dot I O and you enter the code here. Okay, this is the link and this is the code two eight two four three. Okay, and for those you use a phone, okay, so you can just scan the QR code here. 28243. Three more people. 
Now we continue. Okay. Anyone has a problem to join? Who is the X? Who is B? Please put your name. E T Y L. Two more people. Who's still not joining the class? Two more. One more. Another one. Uh, can the monitor please check who's another one who didn't join? have technical problem so he cannot join why uh is it because your line uh can you use your phone for a while you can you, just now you use what your laptop is it try to using your phone your laptop like you okay so try change using a phone for a while until your laptop is fixed, then you can use your laptop to log on. Just scan the QR code here first. Is it okay, you mean? Okay, so can I start the class first so that you can join? Just use this uh, class code. Okay, the class code will always, will always be appear here. I think. Okay, you can join. Right, thank you. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so state the law of reflection. So the law of re reflection said the angle of incident is actually the angle equals to the angle of reflection, right? So let's see this is the barrier or we call it as the reflector, okay? And this is the incident wave, okay? This is the incident wave, okay? And you can see there is a, uh, this is called as the normal line, okay? So the normal line should be 90 degrees with the reflector, okay? So this is the normal line. So you can see the normal line is 90 degrees with the reflector here, okay? Or barrier here. Okay, and then there is an incident wave here. Okay, and then it will be reflected back. Okay, so the angle of the incident, so the angle of incident must be from the normal line to the incident wave. Okay, must be from the normal line to the incident wave. So this we call it as the angle of incidence. Okay, while the angle of reflected wave, okay, is from the normal line to the reflected wave. Okay, we call it as R. All right. So, I is actually equals to R, okay? So, means that if I is 20 degrees, R also must be 20 degrees. Okay, incident wave. So, the what is the incident wave? The wave before it strike the obstacle, 
Okay, so what is the refracted wave? Okay, so this is the refracted wave. The wave which has undergone, undergone a change in direction of the propagation after being reflected. You can see there is a change of direction of propagation. So at first it moved to the right, right? Okay, the wave moved to the right. And then after being reflected, it moved downward. Okay, so this is the direction of propagation. So there is a change of direction of propagation for reflection of wave. Okay, I is the angle of incidence. I already explained. Okay, the angle must be between the normal line and also the incident wave. Right, why the angle of reflection must be from the normal line to the reflected wave. Okay, so that is the law of reflection. I must be equals to R. Okay, so the first experiment you have to see the plain water wave in the ripple tank. So this is the setup of the apparatus, okay, set up for the uh, experiment for reflection of wave. So remember this is the stroboscope. So what is the function of stroboscope here? It's actually to freeze the motion of the wave. So we can calculate, okay, we can measure the wavelength. Okay, so this is actually the piece of white paper to show the patterns of the wave. Okay, so let's see the video for the reflection of wave. Okay, so here just now we already learned, right? Before this, I explained about the dark fringes and the uh, uh, bright fringes. So you can see here, there is a bright fringes and there is a dark fringes here, okay? So means at the bright fringes, okay, at the position of the bright fringes, there must be the crest, okay, at that time. Okay, but at the dark fringes, is actually the drop, okay? So you can see there is a bright, dark, bright, dark, right? Okay, so here is the reflection of wave. So they are used a plain water wave, okay? So let's see again. Right? So you can see the water wave, okay? It travels from the right to the left, okay? From the right to the left, okay? So that is the direction of propagation. All right, after it being reflect, okay, after it being reflect, you can see the light, uh, sorry, you can see the water wave, it change direction, it will be reflected to upward. Okay, it will be reflected upward like that. Okay, so let's see. See, it reflected upward. Okay, so this is a reflection of wave. Alright. So, now, okay, you have to know how to draw, okay, how to draw the wave that being reflected. Okay, how to draw the reflected wave. Okay, the first one, what you have to draw is to draw the straight line. Okay. This is actually uh, to show the direction of the propagation of wave. So, means the wave come here, from here to here, okay? Going downward like that, okay? So, then after that, okay, you draw the line, okay? You draw, you draw the line on the top of the direction of propagation. So, this is, we we'll call it as the incident wave, okay? So, this is actually the incident wave, the direction here, okay? So, this is called the incident wave, the direction of propagation. Okay, so on the top of the uh, direction of the propagation here, you draw the line. So, this line is actually represent the wavelength. And we, when you draw the line, okay, the wavelength must be same. Okay, the wavelength must be same, right? Then after that, you draw the normal line. So, the normal line must be 90 degrees from the surface. Okay, it must be 90 degrees. So, it's a straight line like that. Okay, after that, okay, you measure, maybe you can estimate or if you want it to be more accurate, you can use the protector. Okay, so we already learned the law of reflection said the incident angle must be same with the refract, uh, reflection angle. So here you measure, let's say this is 20 degrees. So here also you must draw 
20 degrees of the reflected wave. Okay, and then you underline. Okay, so after you underline, so means this is the direction of propagation. The wave travel from here to here, then be reflected back. Okay, so again on the reflected wave, okay, on this reflected wave, on the red line here, you draw the wavelength again. Okay, you draw the wavelength again, but you have to make sure the reflected wavelength must be same as the incident wave uh, wavelength. Okay, so let's say this is 2 cm. So this one also must be 2, this one also must be 2, this one also must be 2, this one also must be 2. Okay, so actually for the reflection of wave, the characteristic of the uh, of the reflected wave, okay, so the first one, okay, the first one is the wavelength, okay, the wavelength before and after being reflected is same. Okay, means wavelength before and after must be same. So let's say I just tell you just now, let's say this is 2 cm, this also must be 2 cm. Okay, before and after the wavelength must be same. And also the speed must be same. Okay, so the speed is same before and after. Okay, the speed is same. Not velocity, speed. Okay, velocity is different because the, the, there is a change of direction here. And you know velocity is a vector. So they need a change, they need a direction also. So if the direction of the propagation change, means the direction also change in speed. Okay, so we cannot say the velocity is same. Only speed is same, the magnitude. Okay, and then number three, the frequency also same. Before and after being reflect. Okay, so this is the three characteristic of the reflection of wave. But there is one thing that change in the uh, reflected of wave. So can you tell me what does it change here? You can see on the diagram. What is changing here? Yes, very good. Okay. The only thing that change in this reflection of wave is direction of propagation. Okay. This one I just put same, not change. This one is difference. What is the difference and what is the... Okay. Yes, very good. All right. So, we move on to the next one. So, for this one, I want you to draw, okay? I want you to draw uh, the reflected wave, okay? So, just follow the instruction, okay, that I teach you just now. Okay, just try. It doesn't matter if you're, I know you cannot draw the straight line for the wavelength, right? It's okay. Just estimate. So actually, I know you know that the wavelength is same. 
the angle, okay, the I and R must be same. Okay, I give you one more minute. Okay, quickly I said Caroline, Mickey, Rachel, Yvonne, Joey, Puzi, Shwanky, Tanilin. Okay, nine more. Drink it. Caroline, are you here? Caroline, lot length. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we just continue. Okay. So let's see your answer. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I noticed some of you. Okay. You didn't draw the normal line. All right. So if you didn't draw the normal line, you cannot get a marks okay yes very good virish okay you cannot get a marks if you don't have the normal line okay because the normal line is important to show that your i is actually equals to r okay so every time you draw the wave okay they say for reflection of wave for refraction of wave okay uh, those two, okay, they, you must have the normal line, okay? Okay, so I will just put the result here. All right. Okay, so this is your answer. So let's see actually how to draw. Okay, for the first one, draw the normal line. Okay, the normal line must be at the uh, the incident wave here. Okay, okay, don't draw here. Must be here. Okay, and after that you draw the reflected of wave. Just estimate. If you want to make sure that is correct, you can use the protector to measure also. Okay, to draw. So this is the reflected of wave. Okay, don't forget to draw the direction of propagation here. Okay, and then after that, you draw the wavelength. Okay, so let's say this is my wavelength. 
Okay, you can measure. Okay, so to make sure that the fan flag is same. Okay, before and after we being reflected. So it just. So this is the reflected of wave. Okay, how to drop. Right, so let's see your answer. See this one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Don't forget normal line. There is no normal line here. Okay, make sure you draw one normal line here. Okay, there is no normal line. Okay, you're good, yang yang. Okay. Just make sure uh, the reflect is same. Okay, this one also. Okay, I understand maybe you draw using your mouse. Okay, now this one eaten should be here. The, the normal line, not here. Okay. Right, good. Uh, this one, the wavelength is shorter than this one. This one cannot. This one must be, the wavelength must be same. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, this one also forgot to draw the normal line. No normal line. Okay, and also if I draw the normal line, you can see here, right? The angle is not same. Uh, so this one... We already, already know, okay, this one is wrong. Because the I is not equal to R, okay? So, you have to estimate. It should be like you hear something, okay? So, never mind. Maybe this one is your mouse. Okay, this one also actually no normal line. Okay, and the line should be here, right? Okay? Okay, very good. See, must have the direction of propagation. Okay, this one is the complete answer. Okay, very good. Okay. Right, no normal line. Okay, very good. But forgot to label. Forgot to put the direction of propagation. Have to put the direction also. Okay, so this one also no direction. The normal line is here, so should we draw the line here, the reflected wave? Okay, yeah, so this one is also good. Alright, this one no normal line. Hmm. Okay, good, I said. Okay, Mickey, no direction. Okay, this one is not, you can see here, if I draw the normal line. The angle is not same. Okay. Kayi, very good. But no label here, but it's okay. Next, next one, next time put I and R here. Okay, so maybe this one. Silvon, what happened? Okay, this one, okay, I and R. Okay, forgot direction again. Don't forget the direction of propagation. Shuanki, normal line, I, R, direction of propagation. Okay, Kihau, not finished yet. Ching Yang also. Junkiat, no normal line, no I, no R, no angle to show that. Okay, you mean also no I, no R. Okay, no normal line, no direction. Oh, let. Okay, all right. Okay, so you already know how to draw, okay, from the, uh, how to draw the reflected wave. So this is the, uh, another example of the reflected of wave, okay. So just now we learn, okay, when the reflected of wave in the vertical, okay, the barrier is a vertical position. Okay, but for this one, okay, uh, so let's say the barrier is like this. So the direction of the propagation it comes from the uh, to the from the left to the right. So this is the direction of the propagation. Okay. So the red line is actually the reflected wave. Okay. So the red line is actually the reflected wave. So after it hit the barrier here, or oh, it hit the reflector here, so it will reflect back. Right. So you can see here the wavelength. Okay, the wavelength for the lambda 1. Lambda 1 is actually the wavelength before it being reflected. And lambda 2, the wavelength after being reflected. So, you can see the lambda 1 and lambda 2 is same. 
right? Ha, so this is the red one is the reflected wave. Okay, and the number two, okay, you can see now the plane is like inclined like this. Okay, it's not in the straight line. So this is the direction of the propagation. So again, it comes from the left to the right, right? And then after that, okay, it being hit, okay, with the uh, reflector. So this is the normal line. Okay, so as you can see here, so I draw for you. So this is the reflector, right? And this is the wavelength. Okay, so this is the wavelength. Okay, and this is the direction of propagation. Okay, so how to draw for this type of reflected of wave, okay, for this type of plane. Okay, so I use another uh, color, okay. This is the normal line. Okay, so this is the normal line. Okay, the dotted line that I draw. Okay, then after that, okay, you know this is the direction of propagation. So it will be reflected back. Okay, so this is actually I. Okay, this is actually I. So I is equals to R, right? So I again draw the reflected wave here. Okay. So for this one, I here, R here, so it should be like this. Okay, so this is R. Okay, so then this is the direction uh, direction of propagation after being reflected. Then after that, on the top of the direction of propagation, you draw the wavelength. Okay, so you draw the wavelength and make sure the wavelength must be same. Okay, like the wet light before it being reflected. Okay, so I draw. Okay, just estimate like that. Okay. Okay, so means after this is the incident wave. Okay, it will go here, then it will reflect downward like that. Okay, it will go here, then be reflected downward like that. Okay, so that's how you draw for the reflected wave, okay, for this type of plane. Okay, so here it asks you to label, okay, label the incident angle I and the reflected angle R. So, we already label I and R here. Okay, and the next one is the lambda 1 is equals to lambda 2, V1 is also v is equals to V2, okay. So, here velocity also same. V, F, lambda there is no change, okay? The only things change is direction of propagation, okay? So, V, F, lambda, you have the formula, right? V is equals to F, lambda. The speed is not changed. Frequency also next, not changed. Wavelength also not changed, okay? Not changed. Okay, so the only thing that change is direction of propagation. Right. So, can you understand about the reflected wave, reflection of wave? Any question you want to ask teacher for the reflection of wave? Oops, sorry. Clear. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, for the next question, they ask you to compare the angle. So, again, I must be equal to R. So, that is the law of reflection. The angle, uh, the incident angle must be seen with the reflection angle. Okay, and number two, it says here, when the water wave with the wavelength lambda move towards a straight reflector, what is the wavelength of the reflected wave? So, the wavelength must be seen. So, because we know VF lambda is not changed during the reflection of wave. The only thing that change is the direction of propagation. Okay, so this is the one that we discussed just now. Okay, all unchanged except the direction. Okay, so I will skip this one. This is only the picture of the effect of the reflection of wave. Okay, open the correction here, right? Okay, so next, okay, to study the application of reflection of wave in daily life, right? So the first one, name the reflected sound wave, okay? So the reflected sound wave, we call it as the echo, okay? 
just now we learn about the water wave now we go to the sound wave okay sound wave also can be reflected uh then so the reflected sound wave we call it as the echo right so least three types of sound wave with the range of the frequency so the first one is the infrasonic wave okay so infrasonic wave is the less than 20 hertz okay and then normal audio sound okay this one is 20 hertz to 20000 hertz and then the next one is the ultrasonic so the ultrasonic okay we cannot hear the ultrasonic sound okay because it's more than 20000 hertz right so there are three types of sound the infrasonic there is a less than 20 hertz okay this one also human cannot hear okay the normal audio sound from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz so this is the human uh, average okay human average so they can hear between 20 hertz to 20 20000 hertz of sound okay but for ultrasonic okay for more than 20000 uh, hertz okay woman a uh, human cannot hear right uh, this type of sound okay So this is the example of echo. Right, so you can hear back the sound. Okay, I will stop. Yes, sounds. All right. So number three. Okay, so a diagram shows a sonar system, right? It's used to determine the depth of the seabed. So a sonar system has a very high frequency. All right, so they say it's not using only by the uh, ship, okay? So sometimes fishermen, all right? Fishermen, if they want to detect, okay? They want to detect the fish, okay? So they will use the sonar system also, okay? So they use a the sonar system also. So what does it mean by sonar? Sonar is actually a reflected auto ultrasonic wave. Okay, reflected ultrasonic wave. Okay, they will use to navigate, communicate or to detect the object under the surface of the water. So submarine also, they use this uh, application. Okay, this sonar. So they know actually what's the depth of the uh, of the water or depth of the seabed. Okay, because you know the submarine, they can only go in the, at the certain depth. Okay, after that, when the pressure too high, okay, the submarine you know, will not take it and I cannot take it anymore. It will be uh, broken, right? So here, so how does they use the ultrasonic wave? Okay, so the first one, they must have a transmitter. So the transmitter will transmit, okay, the ultrasonic wave. So it will transmit. So when it hit the seabed, okay, it will be reflected back to the receiver, okay? And then the ship here, they will record the time. Okay, what is the time taken, okay, from the transmitter, okay, and the ultrasonic from the transmitter hit the seabed and go to the receiver, okay, receiver. So, how long does it take? Okay, they will record the time, okay, and then you can find the distance by using this formula. V is equals to 2S over T, okay. So, S is actually the depth of the water here okay that is the s okay the t is actually the time taken okay when the wave being reflected and being received back okay so that is the time okay and the v is the speed okay the speed of the ultrasonic wave okay uh sometimes 340 that one is actually the constant value okay that we give to you all right so this is the formula or sometimes i think you use uh, S equals to VT over 2. Okay, this one is you already, if you already arrange the formula, uh, you can use this one also. Okay, but me, I'm using this one, then later I arrange it. Okay, so this one is the reflected ultrasonic wave to navigate or communicate with or, de or detect object under the surface of water. So they use the ultrasonic wave, okay, and then the ultrasonic wave being reflected, then they will receive, okay, the reflected wave and record the time. And using this formula, they can find the depth of the water. Okay. So state the sound wave phenomena to measure the depth of the seabed. So this one, we call it as the reflection. 
right? Why they're using a sauna, okay? So, remember just now we learned about three types of sound, right? So, uh, sauna wave or ultrasonic wave, okay, they have the higher frequency. That is higher than 20,000. So, that's why we use the uh, sauna. Because when the frequency high means the energy is higher. So, when the energy is higher, it can travel further, okay? So, that is the why we use a sauna, okay? Because sauna has high frequency. When the high frequency means high energy, so high energy, it can travel further. Alright, the next one, okay. So, this one is actually they will ask you in the uh, AC part. In the session B, if I'm not mistaken, or session C, okay, the four marks question that you have to explain what happened, right? So, you have to explain how to measure the depth of seabed. So, the first one, this one already uh, explained to you just now. It says a uh, transmitter emits the ultrasonic wave to the seabed. So, you can see the transmitter here. It will emit, it will emit the ultrasonic wave okay, and we go to the seabed. So, after it hit the seabed, it will be reflected. Okay, it will be reflected and detected by the receiver here. Okay, and the time interval for the ultrasonic wave to propagate to and from the seabed is measured. So, starting from the ultrasonic being released here, being emit here and hit the seabed and go to the receiver, the time will be recorded. Okay, how long? Okay, and then after that, then we use the formula. Okay, Vs is equals to Vt over 2. Okay, where V is the speed of ultrasonic wave in water. Okay, so they can get the depth here. So, this is the S. Okay, remember. This is S. Okay, and this is the formula. So, if the question asks you to explain how to measure the depth of seabed by using the reflection of wave, so you have to answer like this and the formula also must be included. Right? So, this is the example of the calculation. Okay, so the time taken by pulse of ultrasonic wave to travel to and from the seabed is 0 0.28. So, T is equals to 0 0.28. If the speed of sound in the water wave is 1,500, so V is 1,500, calculate the depth. So, we mean you have to calculate the S here. So, just use all the formula, okay? Just use the formula and substitute the value here. You will get 210 meter. So, this is the example. Okay, and for the next one is ask you, explain why the speed of sound in water is higher than speed of sound in air. So, this is actually because of the arrangement of the molecule. Remember when we learned about the type of wave, transverse wave, longitudinal wave, and sound is the example of longitudinal wave, right? So, I already told you that actually sound wave, they need to vibrate. Okay, so let's say they compare here with water and air. So, water, you know the arrangement of molecule is like this, okay. So, but in air, it much further, right? Okay, so when let's say I talk just now, like talk now, okay. So, I'm giving energy, so it vibrate. So, the air molecule around me, it will vibrate, okay. So, in water, when it vibrate, okay, it will vibrate and hit, okay, another molecule, the next molecule, Okay, and then the next molecule also will vibrate. So, while it vibrate and hit the another molecule, it will transfer the sound energy, right? So, when it hit this molecule, it transfer the sound energy. So, this molecule also will vibrate. Then, after that, it vibrate, 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 and then hit another molecule, transfer the air and sound energy, then it will vibrate, vibrate, vibrate. So, this is a, uh, in water. Okay, then what about air? Okay, so this one, okay, then I give energy. So, I give to energy. Okay, so this is the air, I give the energy, sound energy. So, the nearest molecule will vibrate. Okay, vibrate, 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 vibrate. Okay, then it hits, transfer sound energy. Vibrate again, right? So, you can see it takes longer time. Okay, so it takes longer time. So, means the speed, okay, that's why the speed, okay, of sound in water is higher than the speed of sound in air. 
Okay, because water, the arrangement of molecule is much closer to each other. So, it's easy, okay, for the molecule to transfer the sound energy because they need to vibrate then hit another molecule, transfer the sound energy, then it vibrate, okay, another molecule will vibrate. So, it will take a shorter time compared to air. Okay, so that's the reason. So, that's why the water molecule are closer, okay, and the sound energy can be transferred faster. Okay, so remember only sound that need the uh, molecule to transfer the energy. They need a medium. Okay, sound need a medium. Okay, but for the light, okay, light does not, uh, doesn't need a medium. Okay, it does not need a medium because there's an electromagnetic wave. So, they don't need. So, that's why we can... Uh, we can see the sunlight even, okay, uh, we know that actually the sun is actually at the outer space and there is no medium to transfer but we can still receive the sunlight because the light can travel, okay, in the vacuum, okay. So that's the reason why does the speed of uh, sound in water is higher than in the air, right, because of the arrangement of molecule and sound need a medium to transfer the energy right so number four okay so this is a diagram show a system okay to scan a fetus in the mother's womb right so what is the function of p so p is the transmitter of course this one is actually to transmit the ultrasonic wave okay and this is the detector of course it will receive the reflected wave okay so that is the function all right, so here you have to explain, right, how does the fetus is scanned until an image is formed. So, a gel is sprayed onto the mother's abdomen. This is actually to reduce the air friction. Uh, sorry, air friction. It's actually to reduce the frictional force, right. And then the next one, okay, it transmitter emits the ultrasonic wave, okay. And the wave will travel through the skin and focus on the fetus. Okay, so it will go to the fetus, right? And the fetus will reflect back, okay? So the ultrasound bounce off, okay? Then surface, okay? So example, bones and tissue and received by the receiver, okay? And then the last one, the computer analyzes the signal to form an image on the screen, okay? So this is how does the fetus is scanned until an image is formed. Okay, so you spread the gel, okay, on mother's abdomen. Okay, and then the transmitter, we emit the ultrasonic wave. Okay, and then the wave will travel through the skin and focus on the tissue, on the, fet on the fetus. Okay, then the ultrasound will bounce off or you can say will be reflected, okay, by the dense surface. Okay, there is a bones or tissue. Okay, then it will be received by the receiver and the computer will analyze and form then image. So that is how does the fetus being scanned. So it's actually the same. There must be a transmitter, there must be a receiver. Okay. So that's the uh, basic P. Okay. So, alright. The next one. Okay, explain how the ultrasonic use in the bed. So actually bed also they use the ultrasonic wave. Okay, so this one is actually to detect the obstacle of food. Okay, in front of them. Okay, the first one, alright, of course there must be a transmitter. But in the bed they don't have a transmitter. Okay, then in the bed itself, right, we emit the ultrasonic wave. Okay, so the bed emits the ultrasonic wave. Okay, then after the, after it emits the ultrasonic wave, okay, the obstacle will reflect it back, okay, and the time between the reception, the emission and the reception of the reflection is detected, okay, then it can, okay, use this formula, okay, so the longer the, uh, the longer the time means the further the obstacle. So, this is the formula. Of course, of course, the bat will not use this formula, okay, but they can sense, alright. So, the longer the time, the further the obstacle, okay. So, this is basically all the principle, okay, of how to explain the ultrasonic use, okay, in the reflection of wave is same. The first one, of course, you have to emit the ultrasonic wave, okay. So, it depends, 
you say if you use the uh just now we use the receiver right in upper uh, the transmitter in the ship okay uh, so the transmitter we emit the uh, uh, the ultrasonic wave if you use this one this is the bed so the bed we emit the ultrasonic wave okay so there must be a transmitter okay and then the second one okay what i have to explain the second one we have to say that the ultrasonic wave is being reflected so that is the keyword the ultrasonic wave is being reflected okay so let's say if you use on sheet so means the seabed wave are uh, reflected the uh, ultrasonic wave okay so if you see back here you said the obstacle will reflect the ultrasonic wave okay and then the third one there must be a receiver okay so this one for the ship they have a receiver so the receiver will receive the uh, reflected wave okay and the time measure okay the time measure okay between the time when it emits the uh, when it emits the ultrasonic wave and also until it receives the ultrasonic wave okay so what is the time here okay and then another one the last one you have to mention the formula what is the uh, formula used okay to measure the distance so you have to put the formula in the explanation right okay so i will keep this one for our next class okay so this one we continue for the question on the next class so we will start on the presentation <coughs> so are you ready okay before i start anything you want to ask about the reflection of wave so for the next class on thursday we just answer the question then we continue again with our presentation anything you want to ask teacher no are you nervous hello <laughs> <laughs> I don't know really. <laughs> right, yeah. It's at least uh it's online, right? Then it's better than if you go to school, right? And you have to face to face, you have to present, right? Uh that one more nervous. Okay, so just think that you're talking to your friends, okay? You explain to your friends. Okay, so let's see. Uh, so all of you already uh, prepared with your laptop, okay, with your mic, everyone. Okay, so I will use, okay, the wheel of names, okay, to pick, okay, randomly, right? Uh, wait, I need to record your marks. All right, so let's see the first one to present. Okay, Yap Jun Hin. Are you here, Yap Jun Hin? Are you ready? The first person is Yap Jun Hin. Yap Jun Hin. <laughs> okay. So prepare, are you prepare ready your PowerPoint, your video, your mic? Okay, so I will give the screen to you. Okay, and share your screen. Okay. <laughs> A big lag. Okay, never mind. I will wait. Okay, others, okay, just prepare, just open your PowerPoint, okay, so you can get ready once I call your name, they say your name come out, and just uh, share your screen, okay. Open your PowerPoint and to be prepared, okay. Uh, so maybe while you're waiting for your friends, so you also can prepare, okay, make sure all the video, okay, can play. Right, and maybe you want to prepare because there will be an extra question for you to answer. So, to make sure that you really understand what is the concept of music that you use. Okay, so I give you the mic. Okay, 
So good luck, all the best. Why you, yeah, you use your phone to join. So you, you don't have mic? I thought your phone also can use a mic, right? Then cannot have to use mic. Have to use mic. I thought your phone, I thought all the phone can use mic one, right? My phone got mic, yeah. So you can talk, right? Then why you are typing? Why are you not like talking to me? <laughs> no need to type. <laughs> just talk. Open your mic. Then we can talk. Then we can just straight away. So are you prepared to present now? Ready, prepare. So I give you the mic to you. Okay. So good luck. All the best. Good morning, teacher. I'm Yap Jun Hin from Class 4M. Today, I'm presenting my project named Archimedes Group. It's using positive displacement pump. The material used in this project is a plastic water bottle, kitchen wooden spoon, scissors, cut paper, stapler, and tape. So first step, we need to cut off the bottom of the bottle and cut a hole at the top of the water bottle near the cap. Next, we sketch some circles on the cut paper and cut out them by using scissors. And then we cut a hole on the cut paper circle cut and substitute the cut into the, to the wooden spoon and connect them to make a spiral. Next, we substitute the whole spoon with a paper into the bottle. So this Archimedes screw is a type of single screw pump. The Archimedes screw is a form of displacement, positive displacement pump. A positive displacement pump traps fluid from a source and then force the fluid to move to a discharge location. It is made up of a hollow cylinder and a spiral pump. It can be inside or outside. One end is placed in a low-lying fluid source and the other end is tied up into a higher discharge area. To move the water, we just need to rotate the screw and the screw moves and scoops up a small amount of water into the first pocket. On the next turn of the screw, the first pocket of water moves to the second pocket and a new scoop of water enter the first pocket and continues eventually the first scoop of water come out at the other end. Some modification can be done to this Archimedes screw. The first, the screw must be in spiral shape to allow the ease of movement of an object. Second, the screw must, can be made up of non-rusting material to extend the servicing life. Third, the handle is in suitable length, is more convenient for turning the screw. Next, the outer body is made up of transparent material so that we can observe the internal situation when using. Last, the outer body is in cylinder shape to allow the screw to spin.
So this is the uh, short video of my project. The object is raised up using this Archimedes screw. Uh, Juhin, can you Juhin, can you change to the slideshow? I cannot see the video. Change to the slideshow. Okay, can you play again? Is that all your presentation? <laughs> okay, so my question is, all right, my question is, you say you're using the Archimedes screw, right? Okay, so the Archimedes screw, you said about the displays, okay? So my question is very easy. So what is actually the Archimedes principle? What does it take? What does it state there? What is Archimedes principle? It trapped the uh, object in the first level and then return so that uh, it can go to the second level and then return, go to the third level and then go to the end. Oh, so actually that one is used in your in your project, right? You use the Archimedes. Uh, yeah. So basically, uh, you basically, what is the Archimedes say? What is the, actually the Archimedes principle? That one no, is the use. This yeah. one not uh Archimedes principle. This mm -hmm. one is positive displacement pump. Oh okay, okay, okay. All right. So Archimedes screw. So this one is actually what is the function of this? What is the use? It means in real life, okay. Uh where can be used the Archimedes screw here? From my use? from my research, uh I, I got a source uh in last time they used uh to some maybe don't have the water man. so they use this to turn the water from the from the river or to the to the paddy field man. oh means to transport the water from the deeper area so they can get the water at the uh, uh. to transport the water All right okay so thank you. Okay, Jun Kim. All right, very good. Okay, so Archimedes screw. All right, so next one. Kang Shuan Ki. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> okay, Hang Shuang Ki. Alright, Hang Shuang Ki, are you ready? Okay, so I will, meet, I, will give, I will give it to you to present now. Okay. Uh, so uh, I'm Heng Shuang Ki. I'm from Class 4 and so uh, good morning to teacher and my friends. So today I'm going to talk about the um, butterfly, <laughs> butterfly model. Okay. So let's see this, uh, my end product first. Uh, so uh, this is how it works. It will fly. 
So um, my physics project is butterfly robot on rubber band. The physics law that I use is elastic potential energy. So the material I prepare is a plier, a cutter, a ruler, pencil, outline marker pen, scissors, chopstick, two flexible thin metal wire, telephone tape, and some color paper. Okay, now I will explain about the steps. Firstly, uh, I will use the plier to bend the metal like the picture below. You can slightly adjust it by your hand, uh, just like uh, a 90 degree, you can uh, adjust it to a 90 degree, uh, looks better. Okay, next then, I will bend another metal wire around the chopstick, and then I will turn it to a complete circle like the picture below. Uh, you can see the picture below, I will... If you like a shape here or okay. okay, this is how the metal wire should be look like after I bend them. Uh, the first metal wire will look like this and the second metal wire will look like, like this. Okay, now I will bend both of the side of the second metal wire and turn it until it looks like 90 degree as shown below. As you can see, the first picture here, uh, I bend the side uh, until it looks at like, uh, 90 degree there. And another picture also, but it is from another side from taking the picture. Okay, then after that, I measure both of the bended uh, second metal wire for 4 cm and lay the label with outline marker pen. Uh, I label this uh, because later I will cut it out. Is 4 cm. Okay, now I will bend one of the side of the second metal wire again using plier according to the mark that I just made. Uh, then I will bend it another 90 degree. It just look like the picture below. Then I will bend the end of the side around the another side of the metal wire. Uh, this is to uh, make it uh, not easily to broke. Uh, this is how it looks like from the top and from the side. Okay, next I, I bend the overlong part of the other side from vertical look into horizontal look. Then I will bend it like a hook to hold the rubber band later. As you can see, I bend it using the plier uh, from the front part to the back part and then make it a hook shape. I think you can see it clearly, is it? Can I? Yes, yes, can. Okay. Okay, now we are half route to the success because we have uh, done the model for the second metal wire. So now we are going to uh, make for the first metal wire. Okay, now I will label the uh, first metal wire with 6 cm because later I will cut it up for the extra part. Okay, now I will cut it using a cutter according to the uh, excess length of wire. Okay, now uh, we will fold the color paper into half. This is to uh, make the wings uh, for the butterfly. Uh, measure two parts and label with 4 cm for the wings to be cut later. Uh, this is how I draw the uh, wings for them. Okay, it will look like this after cutting it out. Then I will insert the first metal to the hole of the second metal wire that we made at the second step. Like just now I said, uh, I made the first uh, model like this and I cut it off. Then uh, the second model, I have already uh, made it like the picture that I shown before. So we just enter the hole above there. Then uh, it will look like this after we pulling it out. Uh, then uh, make sure that it will not fall out uh, because the... If you can make the hole for the first metal wire bigger in there, because maybe it will fall out because uh, the hole is too big or too small. Okay, now we will decorate the little butterfly. You can use the cellophane tape and tape it around the metal wire. Uh, then you can cut the excess tape because maybe it will uh, look not so nice. Uh. So you just tape it around the metal wire, then it will look like a, a little bit better. 
Okay, now take the wings on the metal wire. Uh, because uh, maybe some direction it will cause the wing to look in a different direction. Uh, then it will look not so nice. Uh, then after uh, taping for the four wings, then it will look like look like this. Okay, then now we should prepare a rubber band. Then you insert a rubber band that I said just now in the hole there. And then you will pull it out and put it at the hook behind there that I just now said we need to make a hook to make it uh, to put the rubber band. Okay, so we adjust the wings to, uh, to let the butterfly to fly higher or longer. Okay, this is how uh, the diagram of the of the butterfly that I made. Uh, this is the metal wire and the wings are the, made from color paper and this is the rubber band. Uh, we need to turn it, turn the uh, metal wire around for the up there are the metal wire around and then the rubber band will twist and then when we release it, it will fly. Okay, now is my explanation about the physics concept. My physics concept is elastic potential force. The rubber band is twisted and will, it will store potential energy. When the rubber band is released and unwind, the potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. This kinetic energy allows the butterfly model to fly. Okay, my modification is I will make the wings bigger to increase the surface area and prolong the time for the butterfly model to fall down. Uh, and I will recommend to use better quality of metal wire that will not broke easily when doing the model or when we twist the rubber band because some of the metal is uh, maybe it, uh, because too long of time, then um, maybe it will broke very easily when we use the plier or the cutter. And this is the video that I shown just now. Okay. Ah, okay again. I want you to I want to see the video again. As you can see, it fly. And it fall down because some uh because my paper was there. Okay. Next, this is my reference. Uh, my this is the YouTube that I follow how you do it and this is some article did you do you want to see the uh, youtube there okay i want to see whether because let's say if you don't have the paper let's say you uh, don't use the paper can the butterfly just uh, fly like that or you still need to put the paper below it uh, because use yes, the paper is just um uh, uh because um how to say ah? <laughs> uh, because it's to uh, increase the air resistance and it will fly uh, for a longer time but, uh, or not it will like a uh, very very fast it will fall to the ground like that oh so means if there is no paper under the butterfly the butterfly will not fly is it mm, actually no because um uh, without the wings, maybe um, it will not fly so uh, far, but maybe it will fly, but not for too long of time, I think. Okay, uh, so the YouTube in you, the YouTube that you give in the reference, okay, uh, is it the video that the person do with the, uh, the, the project with, same with you? Ah, uh, yes. Can I see the video? So I want to make sure that actually, uh, is it really need to paper? Because um, it's you know that it's not so obvious that to see that it's really fly, right? Uh, if it's better if like uh without the like without the paper here there, it can show that it's still fly. So that one is much better. So can I see the video whether you really need to put the paper below it? Because uh, just play the video first. Oh, this is a JPR fitted. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Uh, if you want to play the video, you have to stop share sir, first and share the Windows or tab. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Okay, and let's go to share screen. Close to a tab, right? This is based on for video and animation. Ah, uh, yeah, like that. Oh, I 
Okay, can you fast forward to me? I just want to see when it's a flight. Okay. Yeah, I want it to be like that. Uh, is there any way that you can make it like that? I mean, maybe because they use um. Uh, any... because, uh, I I see that uh his quality of um metal wire is better and uh more solid. I think so. Maybe it will show better. Oh, because uh, okay now. Uh, can you try to let go? Okay, so later, not now. After this. Uh, don't use the paper. I want to see whether it can fly because this one also they didn't use a uh, paper. So I just want to see if you can if the if the butterfly can fly without using the paper. So you just take out the paper. Okay, then just let it go the the butterfly and I want to see whether it can move or not. Okay, so later that one you can send to me. Okay. Okay. All right. So thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, I think we only got four minutes. Maybe we take like one or two minutes. Because after this, you have recess at 30 minutes, right? So only one or two minutes more. Okay. Chia Jun Kiat. Chia Jun Kiat. You leave the you leave the meeting. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, teacher, can you hear my voice? Yeah, yes, I can hear you. So, are you ready? So, I will hand it to you. Okay. Hello, good morning, everyone. My name is Chia Jun Kiet. Um, today, I'm right to present my project. My title is Bedroom Proper Boot. Okay. Uh, the physics concept that I apply in this project is Newton Third Law and the Potential Energy. Um, the material I use in this project is plastic bottle, straw, balloon, and also the apparatus is hot glue gun and tape. I think it's very easy and funny, funny project. Okay, because is I think most of you got do it before. Okay, how to create? Okay, first, you need to prepare all the material. Of course, first you need to prepare straw and balloon. I connect it together, and connect it twice because I need two. I need a pair. And the second, the straw is attached above the plastic bottle and stick it by tape. Just stick it by tape only. Okay, last, um, because it's very, very easy, so I just got three steps. Um, last, I stick it together by using hot glue gun. And this easy and fun balloon boot is done. Okay, um, before I explain, i let you to see my video. Okay, it's a short video, very fast. Let me move back. Okay, um, in this video, um, we can we can see that the balloon actually can work. Um, the pro uh, the all the product actually can work. Like how can how how can it work? Okay, first we need to use the Newton third law. 
We know that every action force has its reaction force, but the direction will difference. Okay, um, when gas is released from a balloon, when it comes out, the direction is, is opposite, it's going backward. So the air will push back, which push the boot forward. So boot can move by releasing air inside the balloon. Other than that, uh, we will use the conservation of uh, principle of conservation of energy. Uh, here is elastic potential energy. Um, because when we expanding the balloon, the air inside uh, expanding the balloon, so uh, the elastic potential energy will change to kinetic the energy, so we can move forward. Okay, modification. Um, I recommend to use a bigger straw to let the air molecule to flow out because it's a, it's a very uh, thin and very small, the hole for the, of the straw. So also we can use the lid uh, to control the air flow from the balloon through the straw. Uh, like we can add a lid uh, at the hole there. So, it, um, so we can stop it or we can let it move. Okay, this is my reference. I got used physics textbook and also got a website, but I don't know why this lesson I can't link to them. That's all, thank you. Okay, uh, Jim Kiet, all right. Uh, so, because we already run off of time, okay, but I have a few questions, okay, and I will ask you uh, on the next uh, class, okay. Uh, okay. for your for your project okay so others uh continue on this day okay so i hope you prepare okay don't be nervous okay uh, because it's really obvious that you are so nervous okay so you just <laughs> okay just calm down okay uh, so it's okay just like talking with your friends okay you explain okay so i see you on thursday all right so take care everyone and thank you for the presenter all right very good okay so I see you on Thursday. Okay, take care guys. All right, bye-bye.